Hey Pixies, today we have our 2021 nail favorites. Now, when I was going through my nail favorites, I found a lot. <laughs> so this is going to be two videos and yeah, it's going to be broken up. So this video is dip powders, liquids for applying dip powders, which is gels as well as dip liquids and chrome and nail tips. So that is what this video will be. We are going to start with dip liquids. So my favorite medium to fast drying is what I would call them. Dip liquids would be the double dip. I was using Revel before I found double dip and now these are pretty much all that I use. I do use this one as well, but that one's a little bit different. As far as a faster drying dip liquid, these are the ones that I reach for. So number two is the base, number three is activator, and number four is top coat. Before I found double dip, my Revel top coat never dried correctly no matter what I did. I do the same exact steps I did with that with the double dip and it dries perfect every time. So that's why I stick with those. If I need a slower drying dip base or top coat, mostly base is what you want slower drying for. So the glitzy dip, the base coat and top coat are the same. So that's why there's only two bottles. So the base coat is slow drying, which is perfect for glitter designs, or if you're doing like an ombre or something, this is perfect for that because it gives you a little bit more time to work with it to get everything right before it dries on you versus a faster drying one. And then it has the activator and then you go back in with the base coat for the top coat. So it's just a two bottle system. Model one's gel. My favorite gel along with one more. So I like model ones. I use it a lot for swatching. And the reason that I use it a lot is because it is very inexpensive on Amazon. So I always order like two of these at a time every couple of months and I use them for my swatching and some manicures as well. So this is the gel base coat and gel top coat. My next favorite, my other favorite, as you can see by looking at the bottles, how rough they look. I've worn off lettering. The Bellavina, which is double dip. Bellavina is double dip's sister company. So this is the gel base and gel top coat. They are no wipe. I am almost out of these. <laughs> so I don't use them as often because I need to buy more, but let me show you the consistency here, if I can even get enough. See how low it is? That was just in there and that's all that's on there. So I need to purchase more of the gel base and gel top coat, but I'll just open up each one of the bottles for you in case you're curious. I don't know if you can really see that well. So I like it because it's pretty thin and the Model 1's I think is slightly thicker, but let me show you that too. This is the gel base. You see this in a good bit of my videos probably. So this one to me seems a little thicker. So that is the consistency. And then I'll show you the top coat. So that's the top coat and they they both work pretty much the same like I said model ones I think is a little thicker so I just have to be careful that I'm applying the correct amount but they both work the same I cure the base coats in my lamp for 30 seconds and the top coats for 60 seconds since we were talking about liquids we might as well go into my next one this is the four-in-one base coat now this is Bellavina which is doubled up but 
they have changed the packaging i noticed if you buy it individually on the website so i have not tried that i don't know if the formula has changed so this formula i like but the new one i don't know if anything changed other than packaging so this is thicker see how thick that is versus a regular base coat and it can be used to apply rhinestones. You can apply your dip powder with it, but honestly, it's a lot thicker than a regular gel base coat. So I probably wouldn't do that. I used it for applying jelly tips. It came with the mini gel tip kit. More liquids going into our next product, the Bellavina Premium Jelly Liquid Kit. Now, I purchased the these premium liquids the short tips i'm about to show you and everything with my own money most of this has been purchased with my own money so i just want to put that disclaimer out there i really wanted to try these because it had the protein bond and primer and i had used the young nails bonder from Amazon, I loved that as well. It works for my nails exactly the same as this one. So I used that for the first two sets of jelly tips, zero lifting, removed them at about six to eight weeks just because they were looking really dingy, but they didn't lift at all. So I applied the next two sets with this protein bond, same thing. So they both worked pretty much the same. The Young Nails one, um, not sure if I said I got that from Amazon, but the protein bond, the primer is like a double sided tape. So you would put your protein bond on, let that dry. I do two layers and then I do one layer of primer on my nail and inside the tip. And then the press on glue gel works like this four in one base coat. And then it's a little thinner though, which is, I do kind of prefer this one, but they both work really well. And then it comes with a no wipe top coat. So I really like these and the Young Nails Protein Bond. <laughs> I did think there for a second. And then for Builder Gel, I've only tried two Builder Gels. I tried the, I'm not sure how you say it. I have a video on it, the Emily or Amelie. I don't know how you say it, but I tried that one. It's from Amazon. And then I tried the Hangry Dips Builder Gel, and I really liked the consistency of this better. It was just a little easier for me to work with. And if you're having trouble with your Builder Gel or Poly Gel staying on, use a Protein Bond and possibly a primer too. It will make a huge, huge difference. I guess I should show you the consistency since I was showing you the other liquids. So these are just thin, they air dry but I'll show you the consistency of the press-on glue gel. You just have to wipe the handle off really well because, well, for mine, it was laying down. So see how much thinner that is versus the four-in-one? I just like a really thin product. So the thinner, the better for me. So if given a choice over the two builder gels I've used, the Hangry Dips was my favorite. Hangry Dips is changing their, they just changed their name. So down below, I'll put their new name and then Hangry Dips next to it because I don't remember what it was called. The next product, which goes along with the jelly liquids, would be the Magic Gel Tips. Now, I like a shorter nail. So this is the short coffin, full cover, 600 pieces. So this is the short size. And this is basically what length it is with just a tiny bit taken off. I filed down till I got to the very bottom of the number. So it was just a tiny, tiny bit. And I made them a little bit more narrow at the tips. And then these are the short almond. So the short almond, what I did was, if you can see on the picture, it's pretty rounded. I like more of a point. So what I did with these was I just thin the sides out a little bit, angling it in and making that sharper point. So these are pretty much the same length as well with just a little bit taken off. Um, so these are the short, which are perfect for me. And sometimes if I get towards the end of their lifespan 
and they're looking a little grungy, I'll kind of file them down so that they're even shorter and then I can get another couple of weeks out of them. So I do like the short length the best. And then if you got the mini gel tip kit, it came with the medium length. So they're the same, it's just whatever length you prefer. Actually, there's a loose one here. So this is the medium length. So let me just show you what number is that? That's a number two. So I'm going to show you the number two. Okay. If you can see that, let me see. Maybe that's better. This is the medium. There's a hair in it. You guys, cat hair made an appearance in every video. So this is the medium number two, and this is the short number two. So you can see the size difference there. And the medium's great if you like your nails that long. I can't type at work with my nails that long. I have a hard time typing with these, so <laughs> I definitely can't type with the medium. I was shortening them quite a bit until the short came out. Moving on to our powders. This is Hangry Dips. Wicked. I used it in one of my Halloween videos. It is a black base with multicolored foils in it and the foils are really fine and really soft so whenever you when your dip powder is dry and you dust off it just melts away any of the excess so they're really soft and easy to work with and if you watch my videos you know i love black nails so i do have a few dark colored dip powders and super bright dip powders in here because those tend to be my favorite but this is wicked the small businesses are difficult because they change stock frequently so with the small businesses i'm not a hundred percent sure which of these would still be available wicked i don't know it may not be the chrome pens from hangry dips though the last time i checked they were still available i have three this one is i've used the two pinks in a video i believe this one is just pink and it's kind of a hot pink so if you can see the product is in the tip so you put it on your nail I have videos I'll link a video on how to do it but you would apply your gel base and do a flash cure and then rub this onto the nail finish curing it and then do another layer if you need to by applying your gel base and doing a flash cure if you need to get more product you just push it right in and it gives you that more that extra product so i really love the pens this one is rose gold so pretty it actually did look like rose gold too and i don't know how long this would last you but i've done some manicures with it and i really like how easy it is to just kind of pat it right on because the product is already on the applicator you don't need a separate applicator and like get the powder from the jar onto your nail. So the pens, I love. I considered purchasing the rest of them, but I haven't even used the teal yet. So I'm not allowed to purchase any more by my own rules until I use the teal at least. <laughs> so that is it for Hangry Dips. But I do have two more chromes. So this one, if you watched my mermaid birthday manicure, well, unicorn chrome, this is the unicorn chrome. You can put it over top of any color. If you put it over top of white, it looks more like this, but you can put it on any color. It just won't look like that. It comes with the applicator and it was actually a two pack. Everything will be linked down below as much as it is still available. Um, so as many of the products as I can link for you. I will link down below along with discount codes that I may have for some of the companies, which I think I only have discount codes for two companies. So that would be the chromes. I have one more chrome. This is Indigo Rue. I had purchased from Indigo Rue and I did that video. Look how pretty that is. 
I did um, a review and first impressions and I loved the products that I tried. So I applied to be a influencer for the month of November and I really loved that. And I wanted to do that because I already liked their products. Um, so I was a November influencer and this is the Ruby Chrome. She has a bunch of different chromes where she did the last time I checked and they were all kind of different so they would reflect a little differently depending on what you put them on top of when i did a manicure with it i put it on top of harmony harmony is a beautiful nude pink baby pink kind of and it glows in the dark so i put that chrome on top of this it was gorgeous so that is definitely one of my favorites you know i love glow dips so this was perfect for me because it is that pretty pink nude but it glows in the dark which is a fun little twist to it and then I also have siren song from indigo and look at that hot pink shimmer I mean as soon as I put this on my nails I was absolutely in love with it and then I have Calm Waters, which I used in my review and first impressions video. She just has some of the most gorgeous shimmers that I've ever seen. So <laughs> they're stunning. This one is Magic. It's a subtle color changer and it will go from, it's got little foils that are super fine too. And it's very much like Wicked in the fact that it is really fine pieces of foil and they melt right off when you dust off your nails. So super, super easy to work with. And it's a subtle color changer. So it's a dark, it's kind of like a black base that subtly changes to an orange, but you don't notice it unless you really look at it. I do have pictures of all of these on my Instagram of the actual manicure and there's some videos with them as well this one is golden hour also from indigo rue and another foil dip so this one is kind of a transparent milky white color and then it has gold i just spilled some gold and bronze copper colored foils which also super easy to work with these are bigger pieces but as soon as you dust off the excess it melts right off and i spilled some and got shimmer all over my hand <laughs> all right so this is one of my favorite blacks copper claws black parade i have used it in a few videos now if you've been watching my videos i mean it is black black does not stain my cuticles really easy to work with love all of the copper claws products that i have tried and i have quite a few so love this i was using dollhouse center but i couldn't include that in today's video because the it's been changed it is not a solid black like i have it has a shimmer to it and i don't know if that changes anything about the actual product and the one that I have isn't available anymore, so I can't recommend something I haven't tried. So the original I loved, but you can't get that one anymore. So my next favorite was Black Parade. Moving on to Glitzy Dip, which is the liquids I like for a slower drying base. These all glow in the dark. They're stunning. We have bright orange, gorgeous. We have a Rave, which is a neon yellow. And I'll just show you. Well, I'll show you the blue one since I don't have it swatched. This one is Clutch. Also glows. They Her glows are some of the best that I've ever tried. They literally, you can see your nails glowing during the day. The bummer is that she doesn't have many glow tips. So I'm going to recommend to her that she needs to get some more glow dips because her glow dips are incredible. So I really like these for glow dips from her. And then this one is on my nails right now. So this one is called Candy and it changes color. So you can see it even goes lighter than that. It goes to a light, light pink to a dark pink and it is so beautiful. 
and I paired it with New Year's Eve from Glitzy. I have three layers. That's how thin it is. I have three layers of dip um, of the candy on my nail. So super thin. So from Glitzy, I also have a nude. This one I don't have swatched, but I did use it think in a video this is my favorite nude yes it was in my first manny's and monsters video i believe put a ring on it it is it is a perfect nude <laughs> i don't know what else to say about it it is beautiful and when i've used it i just love it and don't want to take it off so i had to include that one and then i have two more from glitzy witchy witch is a pure black and this one is very much like Black Parade. It goes on super smooth, doesn't stain, and is jet, jet black. I've used this one multiple times throughout the year. So I love that one. And then I have one more, which is their clear. Their clear is very scary whenever you put it on. And you can see how much I've used, though. This is All of these are one-ounce jars. Yeah, even this one. So they're clear. I've used almost half the jar. It's a little scary. Whenever you put it on, it looks white. But as soon as you dust off, it's super clear. So I really like that one. And speaking of clear, segueing into our Double Dip products, this is Double Dip's Clear. This is a two ounce jar I purchased from Amazon and it's almost empty. I mean, I've used at least two thirds of it and I always reach for my double dip clear. This is probably my most used and then the clear from Glitzy is the second. So love this one. I like the consistency is very different. This one's more powdery. This one is super fine. So different consistency, but both super clear. And then we'll go into our glow topper as if this one is a transparent white you can use it as a topper to add a little glitter and glow to another color it has green and kind of gold flecks in it so this you could put on top of another color just to make it have a little bit more sparkle and also it would give it a glow too this one glows I forget what color it glows in the dark. <laughs> I want to say white, but I don't know if that's right. But it does glow. So this one, as if, is really good. Bohemian Moon is the other white that I have picked. This is an off-white. I've used it multiple times. As you can see, I've used all of these, but there's not much missing because I might have only used it for one or two. This one I've probably used for about 10 manicures this year which is a good bit. So this one has a slight shimmer to it and it's an off white. It's an interesting color and my favorite white. So if I'm doing a nude or a white manicure, I always reach for Bohemian Moon. So I'll show you that swatch again. And then our, we'll go into our pinks here. So I have two pinks that I chose. Bunny Nose is one of the first dips I used from Double Dip. It literally is a bunny nose color. It's a beautiful pale pink. And I just thought it was per a perfect light pink. And it literally looks like a little bunny's nose. So I love that one. And Glittery Pink is a glow dip. It's a hot pink. And it has kind of like green and gold glitter in it. I used this for my, I think it was my second video on YouTube, my first like basic dip powder application video. I used this and I've used this a few times since then. I really, really like this. And the glow on that is really, really good. I have one more glow dip, so we might as well do that one, Mix Tape. I didn't know how I was going to feel about this one, but as you can see, I've used a good bit. <laughs> I loved mixed tape and the glow was really good with it. 
Um, and that is two dips. L slightly transparent. You could put a white under it and do your dips of mixed tape on top. I did not do that. I used it for an ombre and I forget what else I used it for, but I did, I believe, three dips just to give it, this is two dips, but on my nail, I did three dips just to make it less transparent. And then we'll go into our neon. So I have very similar to this <laughs> positive tone. I've used this one for a few this year as well. And as you can see, it's a little lower than some of the others. So if you love a neon color, positive tone is amazing. And it's pretty full coverage too. It's love positive tone if you love neons and then we'll go into our red hocus pocus and i might as well bring this one out too magic spell they're in the halloween dip kit from double dip i don't know that you can purchase them separately but this was one of my favorite halloween manicures i did I, this red is perfect for me i like a real dark deep vampy red and hocus pocus perfect so let me just show you that real quick. I mean, look at that. It is my perfect red. And then Magic Spell. I mean, come on, it's got everything. It's a black base with multicolored glitter. It's a chunky dip. It looks gray here, but it's black once everything's on and the glitter in it. So yeah, definitely. And it goes on really well for like, this is no buffing or filing on this. I don't buff or file my, my uh, swatches. So that is two dips on there and it's pretty smooth. It was really easy to work with for a chunky glitter. And then I have two more from Double Dip. Mint Julep, I just used for a Christmas manicure, the one with the Christmas ball. I purchased this at their One Black Friday sale. And I do not regret a thing because I love a mint green. I have a pair of Converse that are mint green and this matches them perfectly. I was so happy whenever I put this on. I used it in my live manicure on in the Double Dip Facebook group and I was in love. I love a good mint color. And then last one is Flying Butterfly. I've used this in multiple as well. It is a silver glitter, it has fine pieces, and then it has like diamond shaped shards that are holographic. So this is perfect. It matches so many different colors because it's silver and holographic. So this one is just perfect. Absolutely love that. So that is it for Double Dip. And we're on to Revel. So for Revel, let's start with Illuminate. If you're a double, if you're a Revel fan, I'm sure you know what Illuminate is. Illuminate is a white dip powder that glows in the dark and look how much of it I've used. I've used at least half the jar because I love a good glow dip. This glows so, so well with very little charging and it glows a blue and I've used almost the whole jar so I definitely have to purchase more but this one so good it was actually the first glow dip that I purchased because I started with Revel elixir I had to include this chrome from Revel because it is it's really good as a topper so you could use it by itself but I've put it on top of hot pinks and stuff and it's a holographic chrome and I really, really love that you can put it on top of other colors and it just kind of spices it up a little bit. Let me open it for you. Oh, this is going to make a mess. So I don't know if you can see the holographic pieces in it, but you can add it as a topper. I really like a universal dip that you can use as a topper as well. Speaking of toppers, I have Enigma, which I used in one of my videos. I did a review on it. This is a topper. I put it on top of the Gift of Revel April Classy, which was a cream color. And look at those different pastel jewel colored flakes. 
so it's a flaky dip and the rebel flakes at least this one i guess i should say the rebel topper they're not smooth flakes like these i had to work pretty good to get that to be smooth same thing with rhapsody but rhapsody no rhapsody was a soft one enigma was a little bit hard for me to work with but rhapsody this is a full coverage topper i used it, this in a video too see how fine those flakes are they're kind of floating all around the room now but this is stunning i'm so happy that i got this color i only chose one of each because i didn't know how i was going to feel about them but it is absolutely stunning i have one more product and it's rebel actually i lied i have two more products i forgot this one so this is gold digger i'm sure you guys are familiar with the boss babe collection or whatever it's called but <laughs> this one I, this is a nude that I absolutely love. It's not a nude nude for me, but it's a really, really good nude color. And I absolutely love this one. So I had to talk about that too. My last favorite dip powder, the Revel Nail Advent Calendar. And I just kind of had to include the whole advent calendar. So I did a manicure with number one, which is still my absolute favorite. It has super fine flakes in it. I swatched it on my channel already, um, but it has super fine flakes that just kind of melt off. So they're the perfect ones. They're the ones that I like to work with. And then this purple, which is a thermal, it's like a light purple blue color to this dark purple. So I did a manicure with those, which is on my Instagram for this video. And then there was one let me find it i found it number 14 so i had one in 12 and number 14 is my other favorite but i haven't used it yet it's like a navy blue base with pink flakes so i'll definitely be using that soon so i really love the whole advent calendar i have a video on the gift of rebel and i compare it with the advent calendar that video is already up and spoiler alert i loved the advent calendar a lot more than the gift of rebel so i'll definitely be getting this this year i save up my points and then well i'll just leave this here i save up my points and then i just use it towards the lot last year i did it with the gift of rebel this year i did it with the advent calendar and i'll definitely save them for the advent calendar this year but i think that's it for this video there will be a second one so my next video will be part two that will be like miscellaneous nail items nail tools and gel colors so that will all be in that video but let me know down below what your favorite products that are similar to these are for the year 2021 or any of your favorite nail products just let me know down below what they are and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it helps youtube recommend it to others if you have any questions leave a comment below or find me on instagram at dipping pixie make sure you're subscribed with your notifications on i have new videos every monday and thursday that's it for this one guys and i will see you in the next one